Boom, day four, this one is big. Uh, how I have it set up is I got the pass rebounder over there, built it myself, you did too, hopefully, and I got the net over here. Now, what we wanna do is receive a pass on her forehand, then step into it and rip it. This is a shot that I'd love for you to benchmark. Set it up without learning anything first and just see how many times you can hit a target. Maybe for me, top right, because I'm a righty. For the lefties, it'd be top left. You'd be getting the pass from the other side. And then we're gonna go through it, practice a little bit, work on a few things, and then benchmark yourself again at the end of your practice and see how much you've improved just in a small amount of time. And ideally, you're gonna keep on practicing this, like, you know, 10 minutes each day, five minutes each day, work on this style of shot, and you can keep on getting better and better. All we're gonna do is pass into the pass rebounder, have that blade pointed towards the puck. As the puck comes back, we're going to catch it and then shoot it. Let's, just with that basic information, go and shoot a few pucks, and I'll come back and give you guys some tips. So the idea here is to catch the shot and shoot it all in one motion. There's no dusting the puck off. There's no stick handles. There's no, um, there's no setting the puck up. It's just you catch it as you're catching it, you're bringing it in to your sweet spot to release it from. So there's a few different ways you can do that. Uh, one is you can actually use the top hand to turn the blade and kind of pull it where you want it. And the other way is just to use your body. Just move your body forwards uh, or backwards, depending on where the puck is, to get you in that nice spot. Typically, it's forwards. In this drill, this probably won't happen, but in the game, it happens a lot. Players want the pass, so they put their stick blade where they want it. What happens is they have no room to catch and shoot. The puck just hits their blade, stops, and then they shoot it. I don't want you doing this. What I want you to do is to show your blade, but give yourself a bit of space. You can see I have the stick more to my left side. As I get that puck, I bring it across and then shoot it. So that allows me to control the pass a little bit before I shoot it. That's gonna give you a much better shot and more power because it's all one motion. You catch, you transfer your weight, you step into it and rip it. It's a lot better than just having your blade sitting there waiting for the pass. So show your blade, but also give yourself a little bit of space. Hopefully you're getting a few good shots off there. Remember to show the blade and give yourself a bit of space to catch that puck, bring it across, kind of adjust it a little bit to where you want it. And if you don't have it right where you want it, step into it, move your body. Another thing that you can do is change your angle. So uh, we start right in front of the net just because it's easier, but then give yourself a bit of a challenge. A lot of times when you're getting this type of shot, you're gonna be in one of the face-off circles. You're off to the side. You're not usually right in the slot. So you should see what it looks like from over there. If you don't have a nice wide shooting area, no problem. Just rotate the net a little bit and you'll get that same look at it where you're kind of shooting, not in a wide open frame, but at a bit of an angle and you have to sort of thread the needle there. That's an easy trick to work on those bad angle shots. Just twist the net a little. That's it for day four. I will see you tomorrow. And uh, I don't know about you, but it feels so good to catch the puck and just rip one top corn right where you want it. So I'm gonna go practice a little bit more. See you tomorrow. If you're looking for even more ways to improve your hockey skills, join us on the pond. We have the 30 shots in 30 days challenge. On top of that, we have courses for stick handling, shooting, passing, skating, and even more resources to help you improve your skills. See you over there.